Hi everyone. I have received so many emails about the homework questions 9 and 10 for weeks for homework. Um, people are really struggling with this idea of establishing a probability given that something else has happened. So I figured I'd give you just an extra example and walk you through a table that's very similar to what you would do for your homework so that you can just blast through those questions and get them done on the test. I also just want to preface that whether I'm teaching master's students or undergraduates, the probability section of any stats course tends to be the hardest. It's something that we do all the time in everyday life. It's just we often don't put the math behind it. So while the concept of probability is something that you guys are probably very familiar with and comfortable with, actually doing the math is something that's a little bit harder. So what we're going to do here is um, just again walk through those conditional probability examples and hopefully give you guys a little bit of um, some kind of knowledge about how to go ahead and do these. So what I'm going to do is just write out a couple. Um, and on the left is the table I'm, I'm using. And since I just ran some statistics on it, um, let me explain a little bit of each category. So off to the left-hand side over here is whether the respondent is male or female. That's easy. Um, there's three categories, though, in this particular um, variable. So it's O neighborhood disorder, and we're talking about loitering. So it's one of these questions where respondents are asked, how much of a problem is loitering in your community? And you can answer, not in my neighborhood or not a problem, somewhat of a problem is this middle category, and a big problem is this last category. So let's see. Let's say um, we want to know the likelihood of somebody answering a big problem given that they're female. We want to know the probability of somebody answering somewhat of a problem, given that they're male. And then finally, what's the probability of somebody being male, given that they answered not in my neighborhood? Okay, so these are the three things we're going to work with. The part about conditional probability is that you're not going to just grab the total here, okay? You're not going to get this, right? I've looked at several people's homework, um, and a lot of people are treating it a little bit like a multiplication rule. That's okay, you know, so I just wanted to make sure I cleared this up. So I'm going to make this a little bigger so they don't kind of bleed into each other. Um... So what's the probability of somebody answering a big problem given that they're female, right? So we know that a big problem in female, right, we want to, we know that we're only talking about women. So for starters, our denominator, no, that's not what I meant, Excel. All right. Yay. Awesomeness, okay. Our denominator is the total number of women. Well, that, like, did not go in the, <laughs> in the right cell. Get over there. Okay, so I'm not talking about the total number of people. I'm talking only about women. So, given that the answer big problem, that there were women, or given that they're women. So, I, I know I'm only talking about females. And then I need to think about how many people answered it's a big problem right here that are female and that's 37 so in order to figure out this probability this is just a little excel code there the probability of somebody um answering it's a big problem given that they're a female is about uh, nine percent right if i turn that into a percent Okay, I hope that makes sense. Let me do another one. 
So what's the probability of somebody answering somewhat of a problem, this middle category, given that they're male? So we know that there's 338 males in the sample. So that's our denominator. And then we go ahead and look at how many males said somewhat. So that kind of crosshair between male and somewhat, and that's 79. So the probability of um, someone answering somewhat, given that they're male, is about 23%. And then finally, what's the probability that someone is male, given that they'd answered not in my neighborhood? So the denominator here, how you always pull the denominator up is you go to this last category, not in my neighborhood, right? And you want to pull the total number of people in that category. So here it's 507. And then we want to look at the total number of people that are male that answered not in my neighborhood, which is 231. Now to find the probability, it's going to be just over half. Or, no, it's going to be a little less than that. I don't know. See? <laughs> I'm wrong. Anyway, okay, so it's about 46%. I hope this makes more sense to you in how to get this done. Um, feel free to email me if you have any questions.